Poland has offered Ukraine 28 of its MiG fighter jets. They want to send the jets to a U.S. base in Germany and then on to Ukraine. The Pentagon has rejected that offer. Congresswoman Victoria Sparks is a Ukrainian immigrant, now a congresswoman in our D.C. Will you put pressure on the Pentagon to get those jets to Ukraine? Well, thank you for having me. It's very interesting for me that how our government does a lot of talk, doesn't do the work, and really escalates situation about nothing, and really does a lot of these grandstanding statements without getting accomplished and put a lot of our line in very uncomfortable positions. I think, you know, we should really provide uh, whatever we need to for them to be able to protect this humanitarian corridors and individuals and not having all these discussions and make these contradictory statements. But I think that's There is the risk wrong. of war. I mean, if you're using NATO, um, there is a risk that we get in a shooting match with the Russians. Does that well, not concern you? Well, there is, there is always a risk. And I think the risk, if Ukraine doesn't stop Russians, there is a risk of war. And we're not engaging directly with the war. And we don't need to discuss on the tweet about what, who is doing what. That's not how wars are fought, not on the national TV and making all these big statements and then do nothing. I mean, they should be having discussions with Poland and provided proper uh, weapons that, you know, that Ukrainians can defend their civilians and people and whatever that is feasible, not that polarize the situation and tweet about it and make all the stand bans and, and escalate it was not necessary. Huh? I think that is just stupid what we're doing. President Zelensky is no longer pushing for NATO membership. Is, is that a, that's a retreat, it seems to me. Is it a retreat that might bring a ceasefire or peace? Well, listen, you need to understand that this aggression and war is not about NATO membership of Ukraine. It's a totally to show the West, if you have any country that want to be with you, if you have any people that want to fight for freedoms, I'm going to slaughter and kill them because they have to be under me. And I think Putin underestimates Ukrainian people and their will to be free. And I think now he has trouble. But also President Biden underestimated Ukrainian people. Mm -hmm. And we didn't help them enough time to be able to defend themselves because they're not asking to send our kids to die. They just say, we're going to win. We're going to fight for the whole world and for Europe and protect. But don't send us with forks and knives to fight. And we talk about stupid things most of the time. It's unfortunate. Okay, look, we thank you very much indeed for being on our program so consistently and representing your point of view. We admire it and we'd like to hear more from you. Thank you. Thanks very much thank indeed, you. Sure thing. Thank you.